Okay, let's do this. Barbie versus World Peacekeepers. Barbie Ken's versus World Peacekeepers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. On YouTube, I have seen some people take these bodies, use these dolls with their Barbies, put Barbie clothes on them. But the thing is, when I was a kid, I grew up a little past the 12 inch G.I. Joes. You couldn't find them, but you could find G.I. Joe clothing in like convenience stores, just leftover stuff I would find and old stock would be available at some older stores that had some leftover toys and I always bought them and I had a Ken, your basic 80s bubblehead Ken, Lego snap-on hair Ken, and I used to take the G.I. Joe fashions and put them on, they fit like a glove. I haven't seen anyone take the World Peacekeeper clothes, put them on the Ken. When I saw this Ken with his beard, I'm not gonna do the water action for you. My Froggy Stuff did a video, definitely check that out if you wanna see how that shaves. There was one in the 90s that did the same thing. It's like temperature reacted. This is such a great set. I love this set. I'm going to do another World Peacekeepers versus this set too. I have two other World Peacekeeper sets. I don't know why I chose the ones I did. Apparently I chose two blonde old men. A lot had to do with the clothes that came with them. And I like the face sculpts on these ones better. There's a new wave of these out right now. They're $15. Not sure if they come with more stuff, but the box is bigger. They seem to come with more stuff. This guy I thought was so cool. He's like an Asian character, which is awesome. And then I just thought these guys looked better than the other ones that were available. You can't really tell with their helmets and everything on. I do want to get a darker complected guy though too. I didn't remember what I had the last time I was in the States. You can get these at Big Lots. That's pretty much the only place you can get them. I think they are on Amazon, but they cost more. I want to go all out army today, so I chose this one to do. I think I've learned recently that he doesn't have boots unfortunately he's got painted on boots so that is a negative for him but we'll see that we'll find that out really soon this series they tend to put the same outfits on different heads I tried to get a mix of as many pieces of army clothing that I could and then, then there's this set I showed it to you it's awesome can we just open these up already here's with less glare can see the nice display they have going on. Oh yeah, not good on the feet on this guy. And then uh, this guy. This backdrop might be great for pictures if there's not too many holes in it. Did I get this as a fashion pack? I know, I know, most everybody wants articulated figures. They'd want to get this and use it as the doll. I like that guy. I don't care, I'm happy with the five points that you get. I don't understand why he comes with this outfit and he has fins. You can't exactly swim in this, so I'm hoping he has a bathing suit on underneath. He is definitely made to move. They've got double joints. I will definitely show you that in a second. This is what he looks like out of the package. He looks funny in his little sock black feet that are painted on. I think this is the only one like that because of his fins. Very, very cool belt. It clips into itself like that. And then if you just pull it down, it separates the two little pieces that it fits into. I don't know if you can see. So these are quality clothes. They have actual real snaps, not even Velcro. And something that I love about him is that he comes with awesome, like very life-size metal dog tags. Snaps on the pants too, at the front. I'm worried about the lag width of these, but they might turn out pretty well. He's got these feet. They come off like brats, I believe. Yeah, there's some peg holes and stuff. Perhaps you could get some foot replacements from one of those websites. Lots of articulation. He's got a great physique and all, but he does kind of look like a robot. Made to move joints with the double joints. So much articulation. So if that's kind of what you're into, you've got a great doll. You can't exactly swap the heads out without getting super creative because the head neck is at the base 
not like Ken's where the head is at the jawline. But it's an okay buck. The quality seems pretty good too. I've never had a male doll with this much articulation before. Like that's crazy. Look at him. He's all messed up because he's unhappy. He doesn't have an outfit that he can wear in the water. It's really bizarre that he comes with fins. It's super cool that he does come with this mask and snorkel, which hopefully it's gonna fit on him. We're gonna look at the accessories afterwards because I can't wait any longer. Here's the gun, I'll show you that at least, with a strap, an elastic strap. I gotta get this guy open. And then we'll focus on accessories after we focus on the dolls. Much easier to get out. They didn't staple his head in. They haven't been doing that lately, which is great. Loving the new series. There's so much attention being paid to Ken this year, which is great. He got his career line. I did reviews of that. He's got some new career fashions. He's got a regular fashions. They kicked it off with a lot. And five new fashionistas, which is almost half of the new fashionista wave. Let me show you those. So all of those. And I have reviewed all of those. I do have some of the girls coming up, so look forward to my favorites. I got five favorites girls from this line that I will be looking at in an upcoming video very shortly. I love this outfit. This is totally an outfit I would wear. Sweet. I like his facial hair. I like his hair. He is looking super handsome and the beard is such an awesome touch. When I saw this, it kind of made the G.I. Joe thing all come back to me. This is a total real shirt, which is also cool. So we're gonna swap their clothes, hopefully. He has a bigger waist. You pull this off, just like a regular shirt. Pants are tending to be really tight these days. Oh, this is an elastic waistband. These aren't even stretchy pants. Okay, there's no way these pants are gonna fit on that guy. I definitely prefer the stretchy pants to the Velcro. These are a real stiff material, yet they still have this elastic waist. I like, like the acid washed, older, relaxed look. They're cool. Burgundy's a good color too. This is what the tank top looks like. This could definitely be used as a pattern for you, even though you wanted to finish this edge, that would not be easy. And it comes with these simple white sneakers, which we've seen before. Those are a very nice sneaker though. This guy's wearing white flip-flops. I got my first pair of flip-flops the other day with the lifeguard career Ken. Boy Barbie, Barbie boy. This guy is gonna put on the world peacekeeper clothes. This is what his physique looks like. I think this is a great physique. I've talked about that a lot. He looks good. He's not as buff as Mr. World Peacekeeper, but the size isn't really that different. They stand pretty much the same height. It's kind of why I don't like articulated dolls as much, because they're so hard to get standing and in a position and they are so loose and clumsy. You're not gonna get these shorts on. I guess I could try that right now. I've noticed for the 2019 dolls that the pants are much, much tighter. I can get it on good enough because of the groove of his underwear, it's getting caught. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I think you might be able to get them up but I mean, that's how guys wear their shorts anyway. So I'm just gonna keep it like that because I don't wanna rip out the stitches or anything. Uh, a looser pant's gonna fit better. Some shorts, some pants, you're gonna be able to get up depending how high-waisted they are, how loose they are. I have a feeling this guy with his buffness is gonna be able to pull off this tank top. Is there a front and the back to this tank top? Let me see. I think it's the same on both sides. Oh uh, yeah, he looks great in this outfit. That's awesome. Now these elbows are weird. Oh, I can't handle, I can't handle, I'm not used to all this articulation. Yeah, he looks good like that. All right, Ken, or whatever your name is, because they're not giving them names. That is another video that I have coming up. Ever since they stopped giving uh, the fashionistas names, it was like the reboot of the fashionistas. I have gotten every single can from that period on. I think it was in 2015. Mm, these pants fit fantastically. Yes, yes, yes. 
Unfortunately, there's no boots that came with that. He's gonna have to wear his sneakers. They might be a little loose. These pants in real life are gonna be a little loose though, so at least they're like standard military. A little baggy. There might be a little hip hop. The sneaker might be making them a little hip hop. They would look better taken in just a bit. I mean, they pull down a little bit. Like he's wearing them like that guy's wearing his shorts, but they fit well. That's kind of how a pair of pants will fit me anyway. And let's check out this jacket. Might want to keep the collar popped. Let me show you what he looks like with the collar popped. That looks good. It looks real good. Oh, so much better than I thought, even. I thought it was going to look too big on him, but he looks good. I need to put on a pair of boots on him. This is a lot of military going on at the same time. This is more like a jacket, too, because it is a little looser. Looks good with the collar down. Opened up here. He is looking smart. Yes. I am very happy with this. He's got a belt. Let's see what happens when he cinches the shirt with the belt. The belt fits tight enough. Accentuates his waistline. Oh, it looks so good. Love these clothes. They're made so well, too. So definitely even worth the $13 as a fashion pack and accessory pack. Oh, and I forgot about the chain. Yeah. The dog tags look so sweet. Amazing. Amazing. All right, let's break out these accessories. Let's check out this bathroom. Here we go. It's a super, like, psychedelic bathroom. Very modern colors. Like the sink. It's nice. So nice. It's a nice piece of furniture. I'm happy to get this. I am getting the retro Barbie dream house from the 60s. I plan on using it as a backdrop for, like, photos and stuff. And I think that this furniture is going to look great in it. Comes with this yellow towel, not cotton. I would personally not use this towel because it feels fleecy and gross. I enjoy a natural fiber personally. It can hang on the towel rack like that. No damage at all to this backdrop, but there are quite a bit of holes in it. I think with the right lighting and the right things placed inside that that could make for a pretty fantastic backdrop for your photos. We have the razor, which is actually a sponge because you're gonna put that into your cool water, shave them. Cold and hot water will make this come and go. And then he's got some colorful products, probably some shaving cream, and they're gonna snap into the holes on the side here. So they're not gonna fall off. This could be hand soap or shaving cream. Put that in here like that, that looks great. Oh, I like that I put the yellow one further away from the yellow towel. And then a little razor holder right there. Really cool set, I like that a lot. And look, the mirror works. Hey, you can see him looking at himself. It's a pretty sweet mirror. I sure look good in my new digs. Okay, cool. Let's see what kind of accessories we can get him to wear. Maybe he might want to wear a mask and snorkel. This guy is a Navy SEAL. Okay, I don't get to say the backdrop of this. It's got a pretty sweet pattern on it. It's like a, a city under attack. There's a separate clip for his machine gun, which I've already shown you. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but this one doesn't come out. I guess it's just to go on his belt. And this mask and snorkel are so well made and it's nice that it's more masculine and it fits very very nicely it actually looks super convincing i mean it's gonna leak if you go swimming but it looks real convincing he should probably take his jacket off now just so it makes a little more sense yeah it's a sweet accessory Let's see if these fins might fit yep Fins totally fit, and they're gonna stay on. I mean, they're a bit loose, but they clip into place. And those are some nice masculine fins, not like the pink or purple ones you're gonna get. This is deluxe. There's a hat. <laughs> Do we even wanna see what this guy looks like in his funny clothes? I mean, this is a funny hat anyway, but I'm sure it does the trick for those hot, sunny days on the field. When do you get a cloth hat for Ken? Actually, because of his beard, he looks awesome in this hat. This looks so good. He looks super Australian. This is A1 awesomeness. Let's check out this belt as a belt. Sure, it works good to cinch in the waist of the jacket, but it totally works great as a belt too. It looks like it could be a scuba belt too. There's a scope for the machine gun that can clip right on the top. Soup up your gun, an elastic strap. 
Is this a clip for the gun? I'm not sure where this clips on. Probably clips on the rifle. I don't see any place on the belt or anywhere where this extra magazine could clip onto the gun. Sorry, I'm not totally up on my heavy artillery, but maybe you can store it on the clip like that. It fits okay like that. Here, I'm just gonna get this Ken going. I'm gonna steal his old shorts back because that would make a lot of sense. It's very odd that this guy comes with fins. I guess they both got flesh-colored underwear on. I guess it gives the original meaning to going commando. This is so good! So awesome! I forgot the mask and snorkel. This is better than I anticipated. This is taking me right back to all of that 1970s Vietnam War. It's just part of that genre. It looks so good all together. Mixing and matching it. He's the perfect candidate, and I'm so excited about all of this that I'm totally going to jump right into doing my next one. So definitely look forward to Laundry Ken getting his army makeover. This is like right out of China Beach. <laughs> so good! All right, let me know what you think of all of this. You probably like this guy better, I don't know. I can totally see this guy's nips through his shirt. This worked out amazingly well. And how did this even happen? I wanted this set for the outfit, and I ended by putting him in all these accessories, which I think look so awesome. <laughs> it kills me. <laughs> That's why I like these. You stand this guy up, he looks awesome standing. This guy, he's got to fiddle with, his joints are all going. I know most people love the articulated dolls, and I do understand, especially when you're taking Instagram photography. I just like the natural, clean look of this, and how realistic and simple it looks. This looks more robotic, which is cool in its own right. Like, he looks like a Terminator. Oh, everything's falling. This is win-win, mix-and-match awesomeness. Everything is awesome for its own reason. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. I really do want to hear what you think about all of this. Here, let's just see another look at this guy's face. So you can see what he looks like. Not the best looking characters, which is why I'm kind of happy because the Kens, they're pretty handsome guys. These are real life guys. Again, that's a super positive great thing. Look at all of these details. Look at this awesomeness. He's totally souped up. Can you at least put your jacket on, buddy? <laughs> oh, and he's got this towel. Can dry himself off. It's kind of like those camping towels. It's made with like the same material. Too bad it's not big enough to wrap around this guy's waist. They really should have included a towel that you could like wear. I'm gonna have to make one of those. A shaving towel. Like, come on. Don't put on your clothes to shave.